Hello, welcome back to my channel. So I, since I'm getting so close on, on my new device, I need to take a new scan to build a new forearm cuff. And I thought I'd try it out doing a scan to print to cast to vacuum resin form. So this is how I do a scan of my residual limb. First, I stick it up on my rotary jig because I found that this is the best way for me to do it with one hand and all by myself. So from there, I go into the Creality scan program. I'm going to be doing a normal, medium, pretty much just the settings how they start out with. I go to scan. Okay, so now I go start. Okay, so here I am right there. See how everything is kind of in the green? I'm going to be like right there. So I go in. Nope. All right, so you see I'm staying nice and consistent. I get up to my elbow. I wait for the frames to catch up, and then I start going backwards. Now, I'm only going for my forearm on this. Okay, so I'm getting kind of a nice even green. And I rotate the camera a little bit. Back in. I'll get all the way around just to kind of get kind of a base, how everything looks. And then I'll go for more of a detailed scan. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So I'm going to go to complete. Yes, I'm done scanning. And now I'll just go with the one touch processing. Because that generally works pretty good for what I do. Yep. And we go to optimize. And wait for it to do all the processing. So really, I've had really good luck with the ferret scanner for doing uh, scans of my residual limb, both for the palm portion of it for the socket and for the forearm. But this is the first time that I'm doing it going from, from scan directly to print. Just going to take it into mesh mixer, lop off the two ends, and then just do a, a three millimeter shell offset, send it down to the K1, print that up, then I'll, um, then what I'll do is I'll cap the end of it off with some duct tape, fill it full of plaster of Paris, and then I'll use that as the positive, I'll, I'll use that to generate the positive plaster, plaster buck, so I can do the vacuum resin layup for the fiberglass. Should work really good, but just something new that I've been trying. And really, you don't need a jig that's like this. You know, it's just this works the best for me since I'll be scanning myself alone and it would be hard for me to get all the way around my residual limb and hold the camera and have it stay a constant distance. I found that this jig works pretty good. Okay, so we're meshing so far. The scan looks really good. Waiting for the color map to go. Get this out of the way, Escosh, so you guys can see. All 
All right, so let's check it out. Looks pretty decent. We have great resolution. Uh, let's just go. Man, I think that's going to work out. So let's just go to export. We'll go export. And we're going to export as an OBJ. It's 0308 forearm. Okay. So from there, bring it into Mesh Mixer. So we'll close out, we'll close out the Creality Scan. Yep, yep. And then we'll go into Mesh Mixer real quick. Okay, we'll go Import. We're gonna do 0308 Forearm. Okay, so there is our, there is the raw model. We're going to go to edit, plain cut. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut the hand off of it and then the forearm off of it, or the elbow. Going to trim this to, let's see, probably like right about there. Want to be sure to retain the radius the radius bone on the back of the wrist because that'll give me indexing. Okay, so a little bit less than that. So we'll go right about there. Okay, and we're going to go no fill except. Boop. Okay, now we're going to go plain cut again. Right about there. Take that to right about there. Let's see what that looks like. We'll go about there, about there. Okay, and we're gonna go no fill. Boop. Okay, so that looks pretty good. We'll go to select. We'll double click this. So we're doing all of it. We're going to go to edit, extrude, and we're going to do three millimeters, three millimeters, and we're going to go normal for our offset. So that way it's going out from all directions. And let's see what this looks like. Okay, so three millimeter offset. Looks pretty good. So we'll go file, export, 0308, forearm shell. And we're doing that as an X, all right, as an OBJ. Okay, exported that. So we wait for it to actually export the binary out. Okay, so let's close that down, and then we're going to go to. Reality print. Okay, file, forearm shell. No on the auto scale. Because right now it should be just about the right scale. Okay, so we're going to take the green and go 90 up. Okay, we need to go green a little bit there, and then we need to be red just a little bit the other way. Boop, boop. And now we can go to move. And 
get it into the build area. Okay, now I found that if I scale it to 98% that I've had really good luck with the size and everything. So scale that to 98%. And then uh, then I think we're there. So then let's go we'll go slice. And there we go. All right, so through the magic of video, here is a forearm cuff that I did. And so I pulled it off of the, pulled off the build platform, made a slit in it with the saw. And check it out. It fits super close going from scan to print. Um, you know, this is going to work out really good for the buck to do the vacuum resin composite on. The whole ecosystem really has come such a long way from like when the scanner and when the printer software first came out. You know, and it's it's super cool that I'm able to go from scan to print and have it fit uh, super close, really. Still kind of just impressed with how, the, how far the technology's come. All right, well, let me know what you think in the comment section. Thanks for watching.